All appears peaceful today on the shores of Loch Swilly. Little to indicate that last night a car slid down this ferry slipway, taking with it the lives of five people. Driving was Sean McGrotty, with him his two sons, 12-year-old Mark and 8-year-old Evan. Their mum was away at a hen party. But her mother, the boy's grandmother, Ruth Daniels, also died, with her 15-year-old daughter, Jodie Lee. Also inside a baby girl who was past her safety. How did the car end up in the water? One witness believes they'd been parked at the beauty spot to watch the sunset, tried to turn and then slipped on the algae. He heard the screams and raised the alarm. It was heart rending and harrowing. I could hear what was going on in the car with everybody that was on the car. And I was hoping against hope, knowing the services weren't far away because they do come quickly. I would say it was a situation where the parents couldn't leave without the children and they couldn't put the children out if maybe they couldn't swim. Francis stopped another man and begged him to swim out. That man was past the baby girl through a window. She survived. He was shouting, take the baby, take the baby, and he could hardly stand. He was cutting different things, you know, and he was taken to hospital. He was in a desperate state because he would have seen what was going on in the car and fisty fist with people in the car. Minutes later, the car had disappeared. Rescue workers say the water pressure could have stopped them from opening the doors and the electrics could have failed, stopping the windows from fully opening. I've never witnessed any any sort of anything on this scale in Loch Swilly in my lifetime. Uh, just the, the sheer scale of it and the fact that it has happened just literally on our shoreline. Uh, but then when you're dealing with the sea, it doesn't really matter where you are. The, the, you know, the, 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 it, it's a dangerous place no matter. Today, a special mass was held in Bunkrana for a community still in shock, praying for those who died and wishing they could have done more to save them. Nina Warhurst, Five News.